Hello and welcome my starfish surfing down rainbows. How you doing today? It's Chris here and we have a fun little video for you guys. We're going to be comparing the druids to the dart monkeys. Who has more early game popping power? Who is going to be a more powerful ally on your team? Are we underestimating these lower tier druids or possibly even overestimating the dart monkeys? That is a question that I want to answer for you guys right here, right now. Oh crap, Chris, you messed up, dude. For some reason, there's four druids and only three dart monkeys. Oh my god, just throw the video in the garbage. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The re there's actually a reason behind this. This is on purpose, by the way. There are four druids, there are only three dart monkeys, and the reason why is money. Now, with all of my science videos, I'm always going to compare based on money. Money is the deciding factor, the cost of the towers. The Dart Monkeys cost about $1,000 each. The Druids only cost about 780 or so each. So we can buy four Druids for the same price as three Dart Monkeys. And that's why we're comparing it this way. Now, uh, two of my Dart Monkeys are two, three, zeros through the extra pierce, extra damage triple darts. And one of them is a camo detection Dart Monkey, a zero, three, two. I felt like that was a fair representation based on, first of all, money, because the, the cam detection one's a little bit cheaper, and second of all, because sometimes you do need to get some sort of dart monkeys that have range over here. So sadly, I ended up messing something up right here, guys. I accidentally sat at one bub versus five. That was my mistake. Uh, against all the rest of it, though, if you didn't notice, the balloons were very interesting. Round 15, round uh, 23, round 35, everything went fairly similar on both sides. It seems like the druids and the dart monkeys are almost the same. Um, it doesn't really matter which ones you get, but we have to go a little bit further. Now what I want to do is I do want to send out those mob class balloons. So even though I messed it up earlier, I wanted to redo the test. And what you're going to see here, even though it's kind of sped up right now, is that the druids are going to pop that mob right below the other druid. But the dark monkeys have to go all the way around and hit him on the way out. So what that means is that the druids are actually better against Moab class balloons. But this makes sense because we're throwing out eight projectiles out of each one of these druids, where the dart monkeys are only throwing out three darts at a time. Even if they shoot out faster, you're going to throw it more than twice as fast if you actually want to end up getting them to pop more balloons. So I should say that this is with the monkey knowledge activated, and this is with uh, one one druids versus those two three dart monkeys and zero three two dart monkey. And uh, against uh, round uh, 43 over here, it's very, very difficult to tell, but I have to say that I think the Druids actually won that battle right there. Um, I didn't count the amount of balloons that actually snuck through, but based on just looking at it, you see that there were some ceramic balloons leaking through against the Dart Monkeys, but there was no ceramic balloons leaking through for the Druids. There was only some rainbows and a few random blacks kind of sneaking through. So we're going to have to go deeper here, guys. Let's try out a BFB this time. We kind of figured out that the druids are slightly better against the balloons, though not all that much better. How about against a big, chunky, magnificent, and terrible balloon that we're going to have to deal with right here? Uh, the BFB, oh my god, it's already freaking damaged over here, dude. What? The dart monkeys still haven't even damaged this guy. Finally getting it done up in here, but they were going to get double damage on this druid. So basically, the druids almost do two times as much damage to the BFP balloon right here. That's pretty insane. And in fact, we are going to pop him right, boom, right next to the druids. The dart monkeys have to go all the way around, even with this other dart monkey with extra range, throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing, doing that extra range damage right there. They still barely end up popping the BFP by the time it gets around there. The druids end up doing a ton of damage to the mobs, but don't end up taking him down at, at all. A little bit on the sad side. So again, surprisingly, the Druids are winning out this battle right here. I, I'm absolutely dumbfounded right now. I didn't I didn't think that was going to happen, to be completely honest with you guys. I thought the Dart Monkeys were going to be the clear winners for sure. No matter what, you can't beat the Triple Dart Monkey. Um, I should mention that if you're going to upgrade something beyond the Triple Dart Monkey, well, Super Monkey Fan Clubs, uh, that that's obviously an ability where, where you'd like have to use it as an ability and it's going to work in a weird way where the druids have other upgrades that we can add to them to make them better uh we can still get the lightning over here we can still get the uh the, the regen stopper where every single balloon that we hit with our thorns is going to be de-regenified 
So here we go, man. You can tell one other thing about these dart monkeys, though, that we can see is that they're a little more accurate because they throw so quickly. If they want to hit a certain balloon that's trying to sneak through the defense in the back back there, they are going to launch in them. Sadly, not really great example for the amount of balloon popping power that we have over here. Uh... It, lots and lots of balloons snuck through on both of the sides, man. Uh, against these zero balloons and everything, we are taking down most of them. But again, it's just, it's a freaking close battle. And you can't even say for sure who ended up getting more pops over there. In fact, it almost looks like the dart monkeys got slightly more pops against those regen balloons. Or against those uh, zebra balloons. Just a, a bad way to leave off the video, but that's okay. Overall, what we know is that the druids do more Moab popping power. As far as the balloons go, it's a very, very similar aspect to the popping power, but I would have to go with the druids. The only problem is, is they don't have any cam detection at all. There's almost no way to get it unless you get a monkey village over here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious